Good evening everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the weekly forex review and outlook. Aspects covered in this review include uh, evaluating how price has moved recently on multiple assets as well as highlighting potential trade areas and uh, target areas to be aware of in the coming week. In this week's edition, I'm going to talk about uh, dollar index as usual. You all know that now. I'm going to talk about uh, fiber, which is Euro USD. I'm going to talk about gold, USD JPY, AUD NZD, NZUSD, and AUD USD. So those are the aspects that I'm going to cover up in this uh, week's edition. One thing to take note of guys is uh, whenever I'm highlighting uh, an uh, important trading area, uh, especially on a higher time frame, for instance, a daily time frame or a weekly time frame, uh, you as a trader you should be looking for evidence or should I say potential opportunities in these areas that I highlight on a daily time frame so that you get to look for opportunities or potential trade setups on lower time frame. Say for instance price is now hitting an area that I've highlighted on a weekly chart and then uh, we'll be looking for a bias to go to the downside which is short so you go down to a lower time frame now to look for potential trade setup okay let's get on with it so firstly we're going to talk about the US dollar US dollar index and uh, there's two areas that I need to highlight to you guys which uh, which is the 98 300 and 97 10 price areas last week i highlighted the 98 20 as a potential area to look for bearish evidence on this asset and it turned out to be a very good performing asset for us in the previous week price really did drop we saw some uh, weaknesses on the dollar uh, towards the end of the trading week after more tariffs were imposed on china and china doing the same thing on united states so in this coming week I'm expecting price I'm expecting dollar index to continue with its weakness to the downside from the current levels all the way to 9710 or even the 97 price zone so I'm looking for price to continue its weakness all the way down to 97 price zone so expect more weakness in the dollar in the coming week and uh, one thing to take note of guys is that um, when market was closed on Friday when market closed Trump tweeted more tariffs he tweeted uh, imposing more tariffs on uh, China so prior to market open today when market when Asian session resumes today uh, expect some gaps in assets like uh, USDJPY, in gold, euro USD, because dollar index will open later on, doesn't open instantly during the Asian session. So expect like quite some some gaps on those assets that I've mentioned. So let's uh, let's look further down. On dollar index on the lower time frames 
So now we are on a weekly time frame. You can clearly see how dollar respected. If you remember correctly, three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I mentioned that this zone here where we had this rejection to the downside is not going to be easy to for dollar index to break that zone because of this guy here. You see, always look to the left, guys. Remember, always look to the left to look for evidence of what price could actually do. So it's not going to be easy for dollar index to break the 98 300 or 98.20 price area. So you must always be looking for bearish evidence the moment you see dollar index uh, testing those price zones. So now we have seen that uh, weekly it rejected the higher prices. So now I'm going to go to a daily time frame. Now, since I'm expecting more weakness, on dollar index so next target for dollar index is the 97 11 97 10 price zones so I'm expecting more weakness coming into the dollar index in the coming week now let's go to a h4 time frame Right now you can clearly see it was not a coincidence guys that market uh, paused here on 97.50. It's not a coincidence. You just need to look to your left to see the reason why. You see that was the reason why there was a pause on the drop. You see price dropped from 98.300 all the way to 97.50. And then if you go to a lower time frame than H4, you can clearly see the pause in the market. So expect price to push up, down, up, down before it potentially crashes all the way to 97.10. Or by default, when market open, it can just instantly carry on with the crash to the downside. So expect more weakness on dollar index in the coming week okay so that's much about the dollar index so now let's look at uh, euro usd which is fiber right euro usd in the mentorship group i've always been highlighting that dollar 10 the united states have got a problem with fiber at dollar 10 and i did highlight couple of weeks back that this rejection is the one we have to focus on so dollar 10 the states have got a problem with fiber at dollar 10 as you can see price barely hangs around dollar 10 it touches and then it rallies touches and then it rallies so Last week, we did so uh, a bit of uh, appreciation in value on fiber due to the weakness on dollar index. So fiber has to appreciate a bit in value. So we had a rally up to the upside, which is what I did expected. And if you go back to last week's um, weekly focused video, you can see exactly how I explained this move was going to happen so in this week's edition since i'm expecting further weakness on dollar index when it comes to fiber now i'm expecting a correction to the downside a correction to these highs here these lower highs i'm expecting price to correct to at least probably dollar 11 and then further push to the upside that is the first setup that i'm expecting on fiber the other setup that could happen reason being that of the tariffs that were imposed after market close 
we're gonna have market open with a gap to the upside you see there's gonna be a jump a gap to the upside all the way to these highs here you see all the way to these highs here which uh which are coming in at uh, so you target for fiber if you're gonna trade long if you do happen to get a nice good entry to the upside your first target is around the dollar 12 200 price zone see the dollar 12 200 price zone but i'm expecting a pullback i'm expecting market to pull back into these highs here before another push to the upside so now let's see what that looks like on lower time frame we go to a h4 time frame right this uh this area here is a demand zone that we highlighted a couple of weeks back uh the dollar 10 zones this is where we are looking for bullish evidence in the group so on h4 you can clearly see the level that i'm looking at you see now price is at a pause because it has hit a short term supply zone price has hit a short term supply zone so i'm expecting the supply to hold a bit that is if it does hold so market corrects to the downside before a further push to dollar 12 or just when market opens market could open with a gap to the upside so this whole area is going to be a gap and then it will correct into the gap before a push to the upside so these are the scenarios that i'm expecting on dollar uh, euro usd on fiber so we are bullish on euro usd we are bearish on dollar index now that's enough for this market let's look at the next one which which is obviously now <laughs> gold for those that have been following me we, we're gonna look at gold since we are expecting since i'm expecting a further weakness on dollar index i'm gonna expect uh, the precious metal to keep on appreciating in value i'm expecting gold to keep on with its bullish momentum we've been bullish on gold for the past two two to three months now we highlighted this long way back in the group that um gold is in a bullish bias institutions are bullish on gold so now when we look from a weekly uh point of view let me just zoom in you can clearly see now the 1500 price zone the 1500 price area as a potential we have moved now from 14 uh 48 that was our last week's area of interest 1448 and uh, 1490 so now we are on uh, 1500 as a potential area to look for bullish evidence in the market So the 1500 price zone is our area of interest so let me go to a h4 time frame so i'm expecting price to pull back into the 1500 price area i'm really expecting price to do that and i don't expect price to close below to close below these lows here these equal lows if price does close below these equal lows then we could see further move to this low here where we've got short term 
demand here to the upside but i don't see price breaking this guy this guy and this guy i don't see price breaking that but i expect a bit of correction to the downside i expect a bit of correction to the downside before another massive push to the upside and uh, what will be the long term target on gold okay so the long term target on gold is coming in at 1620 1620 now is the long term target if price clears up 1538 1538 or 1535 price zone then long term target is 1620 per ounce on gold so yeah bullish uh gold is bullish and we are only going to be looking for bullish trades bullish evidence on gold but from which price level from the 1500 price zone so that's much about it on uh, gold let's look at the next pair which is usd jpy usd jpy we are in a bearish bias short trades are what we look for on usd jpy so now we had a huge drop last week price dropped into the 105 uh, price zone which is a higher time frame demand zone but even though it's a higher time frame demand zone i expect price to keep falling to the downside all the way to the 104 50 or 103 39 price area so i'm expecting usdjpy to continue its, its uh, weakness to the downside to the 104 50 or 103 39 103 40 price zones but now from which area do we look to trade short now we are going to go down to a lower time frame to highlight that so now i'm gonna go to a daily time frame now you can clearly see on a daily time frame we had a price drop and it cleared up all this range this range was cleared up by one candle one candle cleared up all that range so now i'm expecting price to pull back a bit up onto the 106 price zone so 106 becomes our area of interest to look for bearish evidence so let me highlight the 106 here let me highlight 106 right the 106 price zone becomes our area of interest to look for bearish evidence on usd jpy so i expect price to pull back into the 106 price area and then a further push to the downside so the 106 price area is our area of interest on usd jpy with a target in mind of 104.50 or a long-term target of 103.39 103.40 right so this is a uh, h4 on usd jpy you can clearly see why i highlighted the 106 price area because it's a short term supply zone yes for some who are not risk takers a much better entry comes in at uh, 10660 right 10660 but price might not retrace all the way to that zone let's see with the fibs 
so this was Friday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday. So the huge drop of Friday's high to Friday's low. Friday's high to Friday's low. You can clearly see where the OTE is coming in at. The optimum trade entry is coming in at 106.30. So 106.30, 106.30, which is here. All right, let me remove the fibs. So the 106. 30 is uh, is a much better entry for short trades to the downside with your stop loss above these highs here with your stop loss on the end above these highs 10 15 pips above these highs so you definitely know that if price does clear up all these highs here then it's heading back to this area here which is our last week's high which i don't see that happening in the coming week i'm expecting further drop to the downside so the yen is actually a good pair to take note of when uh, market opens because the yen is going to give us a guideline on what we should expect gold and the us euro usd to do when they also open because the yen opens first before gold and uh, euro usd so i'm expecting yen to open with a gap to the downside and if it opens with a gap to the downside that would be a clear confirmation of more weakness coming in on the dollar index more appreciation coming in on fiber and gold so take note of how the yen behaves when asian session opens in about uh, an uh, hour and uh, hour and 40 something minutes if i'm not mistaken not really so that's 9 10 11 so that's about an hour and 20 minutes so that's much about it on the yen pair so now we're going to look at AUD and ZD. This pair in the mentorship group, I gave you guys a task. Remember with the channels topic and uh, some of you got it right. Some of you didn't. So we did manage to maybe it's only me or some of the guys there. We did manage to enter long trades here all the way to last week's high so that was a good performing asset in the group last uh, last week so now i'm expecting um, another drop on uh, aud nzd all the way to 1.05 price zone i'm expecting a correction again all the way to continue to the 105 price zone so i'm expecting price to keep going all the way down if it closes below this loss here if price if price clears up these laws then 101.05 becomes our next um area of interest on uh, AUD USD right when I say area of interest I don't mean that you should trade short because AUD USD uh, AUD NZD is in a bullish momentum right now so we had a correction last week we had a retracement this was a huge retracement from last week so I'm expecting further retracement all the way into the 105 1.05 price zone so it's in this area here that we should look for bullish evidence to the upside so one of 1.05 guys take note of 1.05 is a potential area to look for 
1.0520 yeah 1.0520 as a potential area for for you to look for bullish opportunities on this asset so on the next asset that we're looking at is NZUSD so regarding NZUSD we have been in a strong downtrend ever since March of this year yes we had a bit of correction during the month of June and July to the upside but that was probably 75% retracement before a further push to the downside so right now I'm expecting market to to retrace all the way to one, uh, 0 0.64 900 i'm expecting a retracement in this asset to 0 0.64900 so take note of 0 0.64900 as a potential bearish uh, price point so this is where we should look for further bearish trades on this asset so i'm expecting a retracement up here before another push to the down side now finally we're going to look at AUD USD same apply with the NZ USD AUD USD also has been in a strong uh, downtrend to the downside of late and of late it has been ranging not more than uh, 150 pip range of late for the past uh, let's say the whole of August AUDSD has been in a range so now I'm expecting price to correct to retrace back to 0 0.68 360 0.3 0.68 360 price zone is the area that I'm waiting for on this asset to look for potential bearish evidence on this asset so the same applies with the uh, NZUSD we are going to be looking for bearish evidence when price hits retraces back to 0 0.68 360 reason being it's an area of support which has turned resistance that's basic technical analysis guys but you must remember you need to be going to a lower time frame for you to define perfect entries yes it's basic uh, technical analysis but the moment you go to a lower time frame you're gonna see further evidence on the asset that will support uh, the bias that we have chosen like for instance here on AUDA, AUD USD you can see why I highlighted the 68360 on the four hour time frame it's because of this guy here there's a supply zone that has been created in the market so I, I do expect this supply zone to hold when price retraces up here I expect that supply zone to hold so that's when we look for bearish evidence on this asset you see the reason why we don't trade this retracement guys the reason why we don't trade that is because we are not sure or we are not in control of what the price is going to do but when we trade from a zone that we have highlighted like for instance this zone here it gives us a better chance in the market for our trade to be a positive one yes it can go either way but the chances are much in our favor because we are trading a strong institutional supply zone rather than taking it up from here and say okay so i'm gonna go long until when it gets there but when you go long here it's easily for you to be taken out of the market market can just keep dropping to the downside and then you'll be in big trouble you'll be in big trouble so it's it's a very uh, important that you 
you wait for the zones that I've highlighted and you can clearly see further evidence that support those zones the more you go to a lower time frame. You can clearly see here on uh, AUD USD there is the supply zone that I've highlighted the 0 0.68360 you can see here this supply zone here also supported by this supply zone here it will hold when price comes back there when price comes and retest it up here it will hold and it's in those moment that we should look for bearish evidence which are in our most favorable direction which will give us a much better trade uh, entry so the same applies on uh, AUD on NZUSD the more you go to a lower time frame you can clearly see the why I highlighted the 64900 it's because of this supply zone here which cleared all these lows here you see so I do expect price to come back into that supply area and then further drop to the down side. So you can clearly see same thing with the AUD USD. Uh, NZUSD has also been doing the same. You see this? This is all ranging. The market has been in a range for the since 6 August. So the whole of August, this asset also was in a range. So let's let's be patient guys to wait for the zones that way you see that that kind of trading will give us better opportunities yes some are gonna say ah, but ivan you missed all this push to the upside right yes of course you're gonna miss it but <laughs> are you really sure that it's gonna move all the way to the upside or you are gambling with the bias that we have talked about but when price now reaches 64900 are you sure that price is gonna drop to the downside no we are not sure but the odds are in a much better way to for the markets to drop to the downside because you expect we expect this supply zone here to hold for those that are not risk takers the 64900 zone might be too risky some will say okay no Ivan me I'm gonna take in the trade from 65 you see the 0 0.65 price zone so i hope uh i hope this has been uh, informative to you guys and uh for those who haven't uh, subscribed to my channel you can click the subscription button below and make sure you've got the bell icon ticked so that each and every time i upload a video you get it instantly in your inbox so that you don't miss uh, any video that I would have uploaded because time is of importance guys if you miss the video and then you watch the video already maybe the levels would have been triggered already so it's of importance that you subscribe to the channel and uh, I really appreciate your support guys and uh, Let's share the video and tell our story in a different way. Forex is real guys, so don't don't despise if things are not going on well for you at the moment in the forex industry, but just try to do it the right way and things will definitely work out for the good. So I hope this has been informative and uh Happy trading to all of you guys and uh, comments, any suggestions are welcome. Just inbox me or comment below and uh, have a great week and happy trading. Thank you guys.